everybody, Tom here again. More Kerbal Space Program, and this time I'm showing some old aircraft that I built. This one is the Feather, built around a single Juno engine, and it's uh, another ultra, my ultra high efficiency aircraft ideas. Uh, another one of those where we have the aeroplane main wings as the main, the main feature of the craft. So it's kind of like a single wing design with these smashed together using the uh, part um, placement tool. And then there's a single fuel tank nested inside here. Uh, that guy has no fuel, but it's in there under the nose cone, I believe. Or under this, let's see, can we get there? Might be hard to find. There we go. 20 units of liquid fuel in the in the cone, or <laughs> in a fuel tank nested underneath that nose cone on the rear. And let's fly it. There it is on the runway. It sits really close. The wingtips just off the ground. And again, it's a single Juno engine, and there is one air intake under the body of the aircraft. And it should just lift off really easily, and it can fly pretty low thrust because it has so much lift with those wings, and it's very lightweight. Um, anyway, I'm going to fly it around. See if I can do some crazy stuff around the Space Center. But it flies really well. I mean, it's so light. Huge wingspan, but pr still pretty maneuverable. And I really like this uh, design where you mash the two wings together using the placement tool to create the, the single wing. Sweet if I could go under that bridge. Let's try to do that. I mean, I'll, uh, maybe I'll show you the max speed. It's not going to go that fast at this uh, it's a single Juno, right? But I've got 21 units of liquid fuel. I'd call that about level. So I can get over 100 meters per second. Whoa, all right. It's pretty stable. Like it flies quite well. So I'm gonna come in super low and try to wiggle my way through and under that bridge. I've never tried to do this before. For all the points and leveling up. Here we go. Less speed. Even less. Not going to be able to do it. I'm going too fast. Oh god. Alright. Alright. Let's try one more launch from the one runway and uh, try to go under the bridge. And if I don't make it, I'm not going to keep trying. Alright. Here we go. The single Juno engine. So that takes off of the runway at less than something around 18 meters per second. It's 
So this is nice and easy. So now I'm going pretty slow. I think I could even take it less than that. If 19 is the magic number. Oh, lost the lost the control. Can we make it? Oh god. Wow. All right. Oh my god. We made it. Even without the left roll control aileron thing. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I'm flying it with one on the right wing. I made it under the bridge. And now we'll try to land. Oh my god. Whoa, it is kind of uh, it's kind of wacky. All right. So I think the trick will be stabilize and don't get in a position where I don't need to roll, period. Cutting thrust, dropping down. Holy crap. Alright, it's going crazy. Hit the brakes. I think we'll be fine. Oh my god. It is really being problematic. Alright, I'm going to use the yaw instead of the roll. Because the roll is messed up with only one. Made it. <laughs> oh, I guess I had landing gear that I could have. <laughs> Ta-da! So I lost my nose cones. That probably would have been better with the uh, with the landing gear out. Anyway, that's my other high efficiency aircraft built around a little Juno engine. Pretty fun. Hope you enjoyed.